So today we're going to show you how to assemble the bed extension. If the Coronet Herald was in its normal position, you've got a between centre size of 508mm. We've got a 16 inch or 405mm bed extension. So if we extend that right out, we're going to get 913 between centres. Obviously we need that nice and smooth running to accommodate the timber. So let's have a look how to put it together. So before we put the bed extension on, just a quick explanation. You've got four holes, and you've got two on the bed itself that are drilled and tapped. One in each corner or Katie corner. And then we've got two clearance holes. So what you do with that, they're coming from the, the other side to screw onto the bed extension. Again, one in the, uh, the top right, one in the bottom left. But before we do that, I just want to show you the tailstock. So at the moment we can slide the tailstock straight off because what I've done is I've removed the socket head cap screw, which is a securing socket head cap screw. When this is in position, it stops the tailstock from being removed because this is the stop. So that's there for safety. Once we remove that, it allows you to slide the tailstock on and off. That is easily done. You just drop that in position and slide it through. And obviously it clamps in position from underneath. But we're going to use the tailstock as part of the process when we're assembling the bed extension. So let's have a look at that. So what you can see with the bed extension, basically you've got half a bed, the support castings in line. Uh, when we come to assemble, we just make sure we've got the faces nice and clean, like we pointed out, the two drilled and tapped holes and the two clearance holes. So when we rotate the bed extension round, we can hold that in position. And all we're going to do is use it on the clearance hole and just start the thread off, hold it in position, start the thread off and once we've got it roughly in position we can bring the tailstock back and lock it in position which is going to give you the, the full support so that's going to hold it and take the weight while we put the other bolts in position then and we can go back underneath, do all the bolts up, finger tight, that's the two on this side and then we reverse round the back end and tighten the two up finger tight from the inside and obviously then secure off with the allen key before checking for alignment. So once we've tightened the two bolts underneath and secured them with the allen key, so one on the bottom right and the one on the top left, we can then tighten up the two on the inside, bottom right and top left, and that allows us then to release the tailstock so we can slide that across nice and smooth. Only thing we've got to remember now is to put the socket head cap screw back on for safety. So once everything's in place, all it leaves us to do is put the socket head cap screw, the safety one, back underneath on the plate so that we can't take the or the tailstock won't fall off. So we can just screw that into the plate underneath. And then what you'll see is that then comes to a stop and the tailstock won't come off the end of the casting but at the same time we can just lock it in place wherever it needs to be to give us that extended distance between centres so there you go bed extension fitted on the Coronet Herald 